that even hit any of my financial goals in 2019? If you've been here throughout 2019, you know that 2019 was not my best year yet. It really was not. And it's going to be so gut-wrenching to review my 2019 goals, but I got to do it just so that I can see where I landed with those financial goals. So I'm going to be reviewing my 2019 goals and I'm also going to be setting some financial goals for 2020. Hi, I'm Shane of The Wealth Vibe and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income and build wealth. I always say that it's best to plan for your goals because otherwise then you plan to fail. And one of the things that I tried really hard to do this past year was to plan to succeed. But the key with planning is that you have to be flexible. You have to be flexible because life happens. And that's exactly what happened to me. So I'm going to review my 2019 budget to see where I landed with my financial goals. But one thing that I can say is that because I was diligent and then flexible, I was still able to hit some of my 2019 goals. But let's see which ones I hit and which ones I totally missed. Let's get into it. So one of the first goals that I had for 2019 was to get a new job by May. And so I definitely did achieve that goal. My goal with getting a new job by May 2019 was so that I could have a higher salary and also get benefits such as a 401k and vision and dental insurance and things of that nature. And I definitely did meet that goal. I actually was able to get into a new job by April 2019. And with that job, I was able to get all the insurances that a person could ever need that were fully paid for by the job. And I also was able to get a 403B plan as well so that I can invest in retirement. So I hit that goal. But if you know anything about 2019, you know that I actually did lose that job. So while I did technically hit the goal, <laughs> I still kind of missed it at the same time. But it's all good and we're just gonna redo in 2020. So the second goal was to contribute to a 401k. So as I mentioned with my first goal, I was able to secure a job where I had a 403b plan. And so it's a similar thing. The 403b plans are for nonprofit organizations and a 401ks tend to be for more corporate, for-profit organizations. And you also have the 457B plans as well, or 457 plans as well. So those are all retirement types of plans. And so I was able to get into the 403B plan and the company that I was with would provide a 10% match if I contributed 2% after working there for three months. And so I did start to contribute 2% of my income through the 403b plan with the job that i had but as you know the story i lost that job so i no longer have a 403b plan to contribute to so i will say that once again i hit the goal but then i missed it <laughs> but it's all good it is all good goal number three was to max out my ira so in 2019 the individual contributions for an IRA were maxed out at $6,000. And so my goal was to max it out and contribute $6,000 for the year. And so I did contribute $500 every single month until I lost my job. And so I was able to contribute $3,000 or so dollars into an IRA. So I was definitely on track towards meeting that goal. And I actually have some money set aside and I've been debating whether or not I actually want to just go ahead and add an additional $3,000 to it to be able to max out for this tax year because you still have until April to be able to contribute for the April for the 2019 tax year. So I've been debating whether I want to do that or not. So I can't say that I totally missed this one. I definitely was on track and I might decide to go ahead and still 
meet that goal and max out for the 2019 tax year. But as of right now, I have stopped contributions and I only contributed about $3,000 in the year. So I would say I didn't do too bad when it comes to that one and especially since I have the potential to max it out still. So the next goal is actually related to this YouTube channel, The Wealth Vibe. So in January 2019, my YouTube channel was not monetized. I did not have enough watch hours to be able to monetize my channel. If you know anything about YouTube, you know that you have to have 4,000 watch hours and I did not have that. And so around April, I think around April, is when I actually hit that goal of reaching 400,000 watch or 4,000. Lord have mercy, if I had to do 400,000 watch hours. <laughs> Bro, nobody would be monetized, but 4,000 watch hours. In April, I did actually meet the requirements of 4,000 watch hours, and as a result, my channel was monetized. And so I was able to earn quite a bit of money throughout the year through monetizing my channel. And so I was able to monetize my channel through ads, and I also got money through affiliates as well. And so it ended up being a really good year, and so that is one goal that I unequivocally did reach. And I'm really glad to have reached that because in January, I had made zero dollars from this YouTube channel just one year ago. And I'm gonna do a video, stay tuned for it. If it's already available, check it out in the cards right here. But I'm sure I've made tens of thousands of dollars through YouTube in some form or fashion by getting my channel monetized and by being diligent through this channel. So I'm really excited about that. So that's one goal. One goal <laughs> out of seven that I actually reached in 2019. Goal number five was to earn a minimum of $135,000 in income. So the plan was to one, switch jobs and get a job that would pay me about $100,000 for the year. So the job that I did get, would they only paid me $90,000. Good, but it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be of 100. Or I can't say what I thought it was gonna be. I, what I got paid was, was good for my position, but I didn't meet the goal of 100,000. And so because of that, I think I would have still fallen short of making $135,000 for the year. I don't know at this moment right now how much money I made from YouTube, but between YouTube and Upwork and Grubhub and Instacart, I might have made an additional $35,000 for the year. And so if I would have earned $100,000 and kept the job <laughs> throughout the year, I probably would have hit that $135,000 salary. But since I did lose the job, I also lost a significant portion of my income. So I did not meet that goal, okay? Goal number six was to stop all freelance work by July 2019. So let's see, I, I did stop freelance work in 2019, but I did not stop it by June 2019. I think I stopped around July or August. So in May, I took my last Upwork client and then I did do TaskRabbit and Grubhub in late July or August. And so I did continue to do those. But then I ended up moving from Atlanta once I lost my job and moved to Columbus, Georgia. And I ended up having to stop do freelance work because a lot of the gigs that I was doing in Atlanta did not operate in the Columbus region. And some of them did, but it would require me to get permission to change my region back. And then if I wanted to change my region back to Atlanta, I would then have to get permission again. And so I didn't really want to go through the whole process of changing regions and changing back regions and having someone say like, oh no, we got enough people, we don't need you back here. So I decided to keep it in Atlanta and I was just waiting to see what would happen, um, I guess with my job prospects, like would my job prospects take me back to Atlanta? And so that's the reason why I ended up stopping the freelance stuff that I was doing, not because of the actual goal that I set. So, I don't, I don't think I met that goal either because the intention behind the goal was to stop doing them because I was 
hopefully had made a whole lot of money elsewhere, but that wasn't the case. So um, another goal that I did not reach in 2019. The last goal was to become debt free in 2019 and I did not become debt free. This was the most lofty of the goals that I set. It was like, I knew it was gonna be a stretch, like a stretch type of goal. And so I'm not surprised that I did not reach it. However, I did get out of all consumer debt. I paid off my car, I paid off all my credit cards, paid off IRS, what else did I have? Medical debt, I paid off all of that. And now the only debt that I have is student loan debt. And so I was not able to get out of student loan debt, one, because I lost my job, and then two, because I was not able to increase my income to the level that I would have needed it to be to be able to get out of debt. And then thirdly, they haven't discharged student loans, so that's also the reason why I'm not debt free. <laughs> so I did not reach that goal either. Those are the seven goals that I set for 2019. And although I only met one goal, throughout the entire year, I am not upset about it because I know that I was diligently working towards accomplishing many of those goals and I probably would have hit all of them if things didn't happen beyond the circumstances that I knew at the beginning of 2019. Things happen, life happens, and you have to be flexible and just go with the flow and try to adapt. And that's exactly what I did. And I'm not mad about the fact that I set goals and also did not reach them because if I did not set goals, I probably wouldn't have reached them anyway. But at least setting goals, allowed me to work towards something and I was able to achieve other things like paying off my car, being able to contribute 50% towards my IRA, being able to look for a new job and things of that nature. I was able to do things that I probably would not have thought about if I didn't sit down and set these goals. So I'm really glad that I did, despite the fact that I actually did not achieve a lot of the goals that I did set at the beginning of 2019. So that it will not stop me from setting goals for 2020. But this time around, my goals are really pared down. So I really only have two financial goals for this year. And I will add on an additional stretch goal. So that would be a total of three goals. But my two realistic goals are one, to max out my IRA for the 2020 tax year. The second goal is to pay off all of my unsubsidized student loans. So I have two unsubsidized student loans within the entire package of student loans that I have. And those unsubsidized student loans total about $24,000. And so I think it is achievable to pay off $24,000 in one year because I've done it before. So I should be able to achieve both of those goals, maxing out my IRA and also paying off my unsubsidized student loans. And then I would add in a stretch goal of being completely debt free. And this would rely on and I know I'm saying the same goal that I said last year that I did not reach, but I have faith, okay? I have faith and I believe that I'll be able to do it and I actually have a plan towards reaching it. So what will allow me to reach the goal of being completely debt free this year, it is leveraging and scaling my business. And so one business that I have is The Wealth Five. It consists of this YouTube channel and everything else that surrounds it <laughs> so I have a lot of plans for taking that up a next level this year the next thing would be to start another platform around public health and I have so many plans with that platform that I just I just know it's about to be great I look I'm not setting this as an official goal but I really feel like I could make six figures by the end of this year with what I have planned for this public health platform. Like, if you are in public health, like, make sure that you stay tuned because I'm about to release something that 
no one has done yet in public health so be, stay tuned so if all things go well with me scaling up the well five and the new public health platform that I plan to launch in april then i should be able to be completely debt free unless something changes but as of right now i, I still want to be debt free <laughs> and so those are my 2020 financial goals and hopefully when we revisit my goals in 2021 I will have met at least two of them, maybe even three. If you need help setting up your financial goals, check out this video right here. It's going to tell you how to make smart financial goals that you can actually work towards and set up a plan for you to achieve them throughout the year. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.